Nishani Haida. The sign of bravery and courage. It is the highest ranked award in Pakistan military, which is given to Shaheed soldiers who have shown courage, daring and bravery in wars or on the line of Pilot of Fisher Rashid Minhaz Shaheed. He got his early education from the City of Lights, Karachi. At the age of 17, he joined Pakistan Air Force Academy in Raisalpur as a flying cadet. As he graduated from the academy became general duty pilot in 1971. He successfully completed his training in August 1971. He still remains the youngest officer to ever receive Nishani Haider Award and is the only recipient of the highest honor of gallantry from Pakistan Air Force. Major Raja Aziz Bati Shaheed He was born in Hong Kong. He was commissioned into the Punjab Regiment, in 1950. On September 6, 1965, as a company commander in the Burki area of the Lahore sector, Major Raja Aziz Bhatti chose to stay with his forward platoon under incessant artillery and tank attacks for five days and nights in the defense of the strategic BRB canal. Throughout, undaunted by constant fire from enemy small arms, tanks, and artillery, he organized the defense of the canal, directing his men to answer the fire until he was hit by an enemy tank shell and embraced martyrdom on September 10, 1965. Major Tufail Muhammad Shaheed He was born in Hashirpur. He was commissioned into the 16th Punjab Regiment in 1943. In August 1958, Major Tufail Muhammad, a company commander in the East Pakistan Rifles, and his patrol encircled an Indian post in the Lakshmirpur area. And, though mortally wounded in the hand-to-hand -hand encounter that followed, Major Tufail Muhammad continued to lead his troops till the Indians were driven out, leaving four dead and three prisoners. Captain Muhammad Sarwar Shaheed He was born in village Sanghori, district Rawalpindi. He was commissioned into the Punjab Regiment, in 1944. During the Kashmir operations soon after the birth of Pakistan, as a company commander in the 2nd Battalion of the Punjab Regiment, 
Captain Mohammed Sarwar launched an attack causing heavy casualties against a strongly fortified enemy position in the URI sector under heavy machine gun, grenade and mortar fire. But on July 27, 1948, as he moved forward with six of his men to cut their way through a barbed wire barrier, he got martyrdom when his chest was hit by a burst of automatic fire. Major Muhammad Akrim Shaheed Born in Dinga, Gujarat District Commissioned in the Frontier Force Regiment on October 13, 1963 Major Mohammed Akrim and a company of 4 FF Regiment which he commanded in the forward area in Hilai District, in East Pakistan in 1971, came under incessant air, artillery and armor attacks. But for an entire fortnight, despite enemy superiority in both numbers and fire power, he and his men repulsed every attack, inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. Major Akrim died during this epic battle in 1971 at the age of 33. Major Shabir Sharif Shaheed Shabir Sharif Shaheed was commissioned in Pakistan Army on April 19, 1964. He is the only person ever who received both the Nishan e Haider and Sitara e Jirat for his bravery. In addition, he is also a recipient of Sword of Honor and holds a unique honor of having received the three most coveted awards of Pakistan Army. Muhammad Hussain Janjua Shaheed He joined Army in September 3, 1966 after he specialized in driving. In 1971, he served with Lancers in Pakistan and India War. Sawar Muhammad Shaheed Fathers was a farmer. Sawar Muhammad Shaheed was got married in 1967. He was the father of one daughter and son. Sawar Muhammad Shaheed was the royal and honest national hero. Lance Nak Muhammad Mahfuz Shaheed He was born in Pind Malikan, 
now Mafuzabad, Rawalpindi district. He was enlisted in the army on October 25, 1962. Serving in a company of 15 Punjab regiment when war broke out in 1971, Lance Nak Muhammad Mafuz was deployed on the Waga Atari sector where his company was pinned down by unceasing frontal and crossfire from automatic weapons. Although his machine gun was destroyed by an enemy shell, Muhammad Mafuz advanced towards an enemy bunker whose automatic fire had inflicted heavy casualties. Even though wounded in both legs by shell splinters, when he reached the bunker he stood up and pounced on the enemy, in the encounter he was hit with a bayonet. Although unarmed, he got hold of the enemy and did another bayonet strangling with him. Due to serious injuries he embraced martyrdom on the night of December 17, 1971. Lalak Jan Shahid Lalak Jan Shahid was born in Yasin, Geezer district in the northern areas, Pakistan. After school, he joined the Pakistan Army and reached the rank of Havaldar. As a junior officer in the Northern Light Infantry, Jan fought against India in the Kargil War of 1999. He volunteered to be deployed on the front lines and drove back a number of attacks by the Indian Army. Captain Colonel Sher Khan Shahid He was commissioned in the Army on October 14, 1994. Captain Colonel Sher Khan emerged as the symbol of metal and courage during the Kargil conflict on the line of control. He set personal examples of bravery and inflicted heavy losses on the enemy. He defended the five strategic posts, which he established with his Jawans at the height of 17,000 feet at Gultari, and repulsed many Indian attacks. After many abortive attempts, the Indians on July 5, 1999 ringed the posts of Captain Colonel Sher Khan with the help of two battalions and unleashed heavy mortar fire and managed to capture some part of one of his posts. Despite facing all odds, he led a counter-attack and recaptured the lost parts of his post. But during the course, 
he was hit by the machine gun fire and embraced Shah Adad at the same post. <laughs>